Well, I think the new financial order is going to be defined by something that I've taken to calling a new heterogeneity. And what I mean by that is that for most of the period after the end of the Cold War, what developed was an American influenced system of capital liberalization and financial deregulation. And there really was no alternative to that. It was the only game in town. And it thrived uh, and served American interests for about two decades. I think that the global financial crisis of 2007-8, with the US as its epicenter, has contributed to the delegitimation of that order. And as a result, we're going to see states and regions experimenting with different arrangements for organizing their money and finance. I think that what's going to be interesting about the new arrangement is that the U.S. Um, is going to pretty much continue with business as usual. The reforms of its own financial institutions have been relatively modest. And so what's really going to be different is how many parts uh, of the world will change. And so I think the U.S. will find it frustrating at times to be participating in the global economy in which there are these competing versions of how to organize the world's money and finance with a little bit maybe of pushback against American ideas and influence in these areas. Um, as a country, for better or worse, and uh, uh, I have some concerns that it might be for worse, uh, much of the U.S. economy and its future trajectory rests in the hands of political decisions made in the United States. Um, it is under some pressure in the United States to put its macroeconomy on what appears to be a more sustainable track in the long run. And taking care of that, uh, which would involve both uh, reductions in government spending and increases in federal government taxes, are probably the two most things that will protect uh, the U.S. economy from financial instability in the future. I also think it is regrettable uh, that in the wake of the global financial crisis centered in the U.S., that the U.S. did not have a more sustained national debate about what its financial sector should look like. Having missed the opportunity for that debate, I think we have not enacted the types of financial reforms that would protect another type of crisis from developing in the future.